All right, what is up guys? JR Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna do something I've been wanting to do for a very long time, and that is teaching my girlfriend how to paddle shift in a brand new Audi R8. This is gonna be interesting, stay tuned. All right, so if you don't know, this is a 2018 Audi R8 V10 Spider. When you use manual mode, you have to use paddle shifters. And Christina's never used paddle shifters before, so <laughs> I'm gonna teach her how to do it. So I actually learned how to drive on a stick shift car, so using paddle shifters feels a little bit foreign to me and actually just kind of odd. Um, and, it's, and it's pretty easy to do, actually, so. It's easy, it is as easy. I've heard. <laughs> yeah, so um, with the Audi, it's cool, I'll show you here. This is the little thing that you have right here. Right now she's in uh, just regular drive mode yes. dynamic. Um, if you tap this once, it puts it in the sport mode. And you can definitely hear that change the in the exhaust. The big now. time difference in the exhaust. And then so teens, if you want to put it in manual, all you have to do is tap the paddle shifter and then you'll be in you manual. I, go I would go, I would go down, use the downshift, left. Okay, so now you're in manual, okay? Manual, okay. Yeah, so now if you want to shift, all you have to do is just tap the right hand side to go up. Yep. It's crazy, I don't take my <laughs> No, you can no. Nope. You can have it on or off. It doesn't matter. Usually, it's on the gas if you're upshifting, and then off the gas if you're downshifting. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then it'll rev match and everything for you. So, okay. So that's a downshift. If you want to be aggressive, that's where you would downshift to get to your RPMs high. And then if you want to, yeah, exactly. Oh, so you can sound, sound yeah. Crazy. That's so the different. difference. See, and the reason why you want to use paddle shift is because when it's in automatic mode. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Because when it's in automatic mode and you try to give it gas to accelerate, yeah. if it's at a low RPM, it's it's going to kind of like bog down. It's not okay. going to give you that instant acceleration, right? Okay. So that's the reason why you would want. That's why I destroyed you so badly on the XT Avil. Okay. No. <laughs> no, we're not talking about that. We are not talking about that. <laughs> so that's pretty much how you paddle shift. How does it feel? You have to remember to downshift. There you go. Listen to those downshifts. So normally when you're all the way down, you'd want to put it in first. How far all the way down? It's an eight-speed transmission. What do you mean? Like when you're like coming, coming almost to a, almost to a stop. At, under like 10 miles per hour, you want to. Oh, okay. Holy shit! Okay. See, and then when you start braking, downshift, downshift. There you go. Look at this turn. Holy oh, shit! Oh, no, no, that's a sharp turn like that. Yeah, isn't that ridiculous? That was good. Do that. Remember, you gotta remember to upshift. There you go. Okay. So that's not bad. It's nice. It's a little rough. You, she could be a little smoother at it, but it's not <laughs> terrible. There you go. And then you want to. Yeah, you can leave it in second. That's fine. Well, but you just—it's basically just getting a feel for the how how aggressive you want to be with the drive. <laughs> that <sounds> so <laughs> that guy looked at. So she's back in. There you go. That's pretty freaking awesome. I'm just gonna watch the uh, the RPMs, and that's basically what you're doing, teens. So, as you want to be more aggressive, you keep the RPMs higher, and then if you want to be more chill, then you just shift earlier, right? It's called short shifting. It means you're shifting shorter in the RPM range. Okay. Does that make sense? Have you heard that term before? No. Oh, okay. So that's what it is, basically. Isn't it a lot more fun? It's more engaging, you know. It is. It so, keeps you. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, that's what's amazing. Yes. Is that what you want? Yes. That's that's awesome. That's what the that's what this thing is made for. <laughs> okay. I, I forgot what, why I was in first. I don't know what that was. But yeah, so this is a naturally aspirated E10. So that's why you get all those awesome pops and crackles and stuff like that because you're not waiting for a turbocharger or a supercharger to spool up or anything like that. You get instant torque, instant power, and it's so much freaking fun. You're good. Let's see how this feels. I'm impressed, teens. How does it feel? So it stays on the, the shifters stay on the um, wheel as it turns. So yes. as I'm turning, I can hit it. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah. So some paddle shifters, there we go. Oh my god, that's so freaking cool. So some paddle shifters are stationary. I think the Huracans are, and maybe even the Ferraris. But on this one, they're actually on the steering wheel. So as you turn the steering wheel, they stay right where they you think they're going to be. Your fingers are yeah, in. which is really nice. So there you go, teens. That's pretty much all there is to it. Listen to that. And then as you get better at it and get used to the car, and where like the power band is and stuff, yeah. you know, you'll get better at it. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's pretty 
awesome, right? That's my favorite. When you pop that down ship. Yes. <laughs> you don't hear that much around here. No, you don't. Not in Santa Barbara. It's a pretty sleepy town. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I do love doing it this way, even though I've never done the manual, the regular manual. manual regular, with the, yeah. Because you don't have to deal with the clutch and all exactly, that kind of stuff. Exactly, yes. You don't yeah. have to worry about the car stalling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. You just learned how to uh, paddle shift in an Audi R8 V10. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. You did good. I'm sure everyone's going to hate me that I did shit wrong. No, but, you did you fine. Know what? You can't do it wrong. There's no wrong way that to do it. That was a lot more fun than I thought it would be just because I've never really heard of cars having this. Yeah, like, paddle on shifts. The handles. It's relatively the, new in the car world. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just used to the you know, old fashioned way. So I'm just thinking, okay, my car's going to stall. I'm going to be embarrassed. I'm just gonna have to sit here and figure out how to yeah, do it. Yeah, no, you don't have to deal with any of that. And there's not many can do that, so I think that was a lot of fun. You did good, babe. Yeah, Proud of you. Thank you. Mm, suck it. <laughs> So there you go. I'll get better. Teaching my girlfriend how to drive a paddle shifter uh, on an Audi R8. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, be sure to like the video if you did. Subscribe for more. Check out Christina's channel. She's always linked in the description below. And we'll see you in the next one. That was fun. Let's do it again.